I am Emily Lucasanova, 44 years old from the Philippines. I've been living with psoriatic disease for about 20 years. I had all types of psoriatic disease and I observed that it evolves from one type to another. Like from gut ache, it becomes black, then inverse, then erythrodermic. I also have this rare type called general postular psoriasis or GPP. But it's the most painful one that I had. And I had my first flare uh, last about 18 or 17 years ago. I just woke up one day with somehow wet lesions and very painful thighs and torso. I cannot get up from the bed. So I asked my husband to bring me to the hospital because we have, we have no money then. Uh, I was uh, brought to a public hospital. The doctors were shocked when they saw me because I was bloated, red, and scaling all over with pus on the lesions on my thighs, torso, arms, neck, and face. They misdiagnosed my condition as Stevens-Johnson and gave me antibiotics for several days. I did not respond to the treatment, and so I was referred to a derma from another hospital. The derma said it seems I had GPP, so she started me on topical steroids, MTX, and rounds of gauze soaked in a natural saline solution and wounded up on my lesions with pus so it can dry up quickly. I had finally seen improvement for about two weeks till I got discharged. The pain I went through is really unbearable. I cannot lift my arms and would even ask somebody to do things for me like scratch my face, comb my hair. I cannot go to the toilet by myself, so I had to relieve myself on the bedpan. The memory was, the memory was just so painful. I can almost feel the skin ripping off and the thoughts of just ending it all, so I could not feel the pain. But I have kids. I needed to fight, and so I recovered. Several GPP flares followed, which I always get hospitalized. But since I already had an idea of what's going on, the process was not, as, was not as painful as the first one. Having psoriatic disease for 20 years, I had been discriminated from public transport, public pools, salon, and spa. I just wish people would stop the stigma to make our life easier. For people having rare diseases, just like GPP, you know, uh, you should know more about your condition and how to manage it. Be kind to yourself and join support groups so you can help each other during flares. Having psoriatic disease is always having a battle that you need to win for your loved ones and for you to become productive to the society. So don't give up and just keep on fighting. Thank you.